Toronto NDP MP Olivia Chow says she has a rare nerve disorder that affects the muscles in her face. The disorder is called Ramsey Hunt syndrome and it's related to chicken pox and shingles but is relatively uncommon. Chow says it affects the left side of her face. Have a listen. Because I caught it early, I had very effective and fast treatment. As a result, um, I have no pain right now, um, and that uh, the only thing that is not working well is that I can't smile uh, in a symmetric, uh, uh, in a in a balanced way. I can still smile, but not quite balanced. But that does not stop me from working hard. Now, Chow says she expects uh, to make a complete recovery in a couple of weeks, but we want to know more about this condition. So we have medical specialist Dr. Carl Cabasellin with us to shed some light on this. So let me start with the question, what is Ramsey-Hunt syndrome? Ramsey-Hunt, uh, most people probably haven't heard of it because it's not commonly sort of discussed, yeah. but it's actually a variation on shingles. Okay. And we, we do talk about that quite yeah, a bit yeah. because it's such a painful rash. And just to give you a little background, of course, shingles is caused by the same virus that causes chicken pox. So the, the usual usual flow of, uh, of events is that as a child you get chicken pox or kids used to now there's right. a vaccine of course <laughs> but you get chicken pox it lies dormant basically in the nerves of your spine and then as you get older and potentially get sick uh, you come down with some illness or you're tired or your immune system is weakened that virus gets reawakened travels along the nerves and then usually in most cases causes shingles which is that painful rash on the skin yeah. in the case of Olivia Chow though it caused uh, inflammation of her facial nerve which controls the muscles of the face which controls things like taste and and hearing and so on so the uh, symptoms uh, of, of what she has may include not only the weak weakness of her face but yeah, changes in her sense of taste, hearing, maybe dizziness, uh, and sometimes even a painful rash inside the ear or on the eardrum. Now, you mentioned that it's related to chickenpox. Yeah. Is it contagious? No. So usually what happens, again, the, the virus is sort of living inside the body. Uh, when you have chickenpox, of course, the lesions themselves, they get sort of pussy, if you will, yeah. or like the little bubbles. Yeah. And the virus is in there, so if you touch those, when a kid has chicken pox, if you've not been exposed to that virus, you could get chicken pox yourself. Right. In the case of shingles, theoretically, those lesions that happen on the skin could potentially transmit the, the, um, the virus. But in this case, in her case, that's unlikely because it's an internal infection. And this sort of infection, this condition, uh, seemed to come on very suddenly too. That, right. That's normal? Well, that's the thing. Yeah, it's hard to predict when it's going to come up. Yeah. And it's usually when someone's vulnerable. So you've been working a lot of hours and you're tired, or you're dealing with some other illness, or sometimes it just happens spontaneously. And it tends to happen as you get older. Now, the good news is not only is there a vaccine for chicken pox, but there's also one for shingles, for this reoccurrence of the virus. And what's the treatment like and, and the timeline as well? Right. So with treatment, um, uh, the good news, as we heard in the media release, is that Olivia Chow expects to have a full recovery. That prob probably means that she sought immediate medical attention, which is the right thing to do, and got treated. What are the treatments? Well, you can use an antiviral medication, which may have some effect, but generally it's using steroids or anti-inflammatories because, because her facial nerve uh, or the, the facial nerve of someone in this situation becomes inflamed and maybe swollen. You're trying to get that inflammation down so you're not getting the symptoms that we talk about. Any risk of long-term damage? Well, if you treat it soon, early enough, and you get that, uh, that nerve calmed down, then chances are really good, about 70% that you're going to have long-term full recovery. All right. Well, good to talk to you. Our medical specialist, Dr. Carl Cabasell, joining Thank us you. in the studio. Thanks.